Why did people burn a library? Can I swear? You can. Because they're twats. Stick them against the wall and shoot the bastards. Why isn't the Christian church a church? Mm-hmm. English people cannot get houses. They tried getting at the mosque down the road on County Road. This is Left Laser. Thank you, BBC. Left Laser. Today, we're in Southport, a week after the devastating attack on innocent little children. Losing your child within a twinkle of an eye is not something I wish anybody. Words can't describe what happened last Monday. It's just unthinkable act of wickedness. Hearing and seeing this in Southport is so surprising to me. Like a young lad could just go into a school or a training centre or wherever to do this to little kids, little kids, innocent little kids. <laughs> it's so painful. They're all writing about the immigrants and people like that coming in, aren't they? Well, this has nothing to do with that. This is a guy who was born in Wales, brought up in Southport. God knows why he did what he did. Here? Yeah? BBC, BBC TV. Yeah. We're just going to film here. Is that okay? We're just going to take one shot. We'll be gone. Okay, no, we're just going to finish this shot. Yeah, we need to take one shot and we'll go. If you get, if you get out of it, it will be fine. Because we're trying to... Could you move a little bit? Um, Ja, ik vind het heel irritant dat je... Wat ga je nou staan kijken? Dit is toch fucking raar gedrag? Ik pleur op met je BBC. Fuck off. Fuck off BBC. Ja. This is left laser. Fuck you BBC. Thousands of police officers are on high alert in the UK after rioting in cities and towns in England and in Belfast. Individuals rather than organizations seem to have been driving the protests, almost all focused around migrants. Mosques have also been targeted. Why did people burn a library? Can I swear? You can. Because they're twat. That's plain and simple. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's just stupid knobheads, little teenagers, dickheads. I think it's because it's a one-stop shop as well. Mm. And people go there for houses. And English people cannot get houses. They give them to all the uh, immigrants first. So it has to do with housing, you believe? It's, uh, that's what I think. Other people are saying the same thing as well. Mm. It's because in, I know my, my own brother. He was homeless for nearly two years, coming back from London where he worked for years. Mm-hmm. And he couldn't get a place. They've got no tell to do, have they? The people that trashed the library. Mm-hmm. No tell to do. Mm-hmm. Stick them against the wall and shoot the bastards. You don't think it's a politically motivated act? No. It was a gang of teenagers started it, mm-hmm. believe it or not. I mean, teenagers are capable of politics, but... Yes, not that, not that age. They were like gang... They were like, what, what had happened was a group of kids, they started throwing stuff at police mm. and because of that it escalated and people set fire to the, to the library. I think it was to do with the immigrants in the country, like obviously some of them are here illegally and some of them aren't. Mm-hmm. And then they tried getting at the mosque down the road on County Road and I don't think they were able to so they just took it out on the library. So they were trying to burn the mosque? I think so. I'll do something to the mosque. We're asking you something. Uh, uh, don't go oh, okay, then we won't. <laughs> this library got burnt. My daughter goes there after school every day. The police so just stood there in the riot here. Yeah. Why? What? They only had to move forward, what, 40 yards? They didn't do a good job. They just stood there. And then after they finished setting the library on fire, then they moved forward. Well, what's the situation like in this neighborhood? It's usually all, well, it's usually bad. Mm-hmm. It is a rough area. In, in, in what way? Drugs, fighting, pubs, no beds. I mean, the club. kind of sounds like England. Yeah. It's all over. Call the army out, they'll, they'll sort them out. But what about improving the quality of life around here? It's a waste of time. Everything, everything's closing down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a rundown area. So, you know. I'll give you a bit of advice. Watch what you're doing around here with the camera. Yeah. Because they will try and mug you. What's the main industry around here? Don't know. Shops. Just these small shops. Shops, yeah, yeah. There's no factories. Mm-hmm. So, 
There's not really no nope, nothing anything. No, nope. most places, most people just get whatever they can. I mean, I've had every job that's imaginable. Uh -huh. I've I've worked in a Mackey's. I'm working in a subway right now. I work in Anfield right now. I've worked in warehouses. It's whatever you get, mate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Jobs are hard. Yeah. You just whatever puts food on the table for you and provides for clothes for the kids on your back. Then that's that. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. The Americans are all getting put into the terrace house and areas mm. because they can't be made into bed sets mm. and lots of other people are buying them to rent out mm. and that's why English people can't get accommodation, young people. But is that also an issue with landlords then? Yes, a big issue with landlords. Because these landlords are filling up these homes probably making a big profit. Yes, but no one knows who the landlords are. At one time, there's that shop over there, that was in the sea saving where you could buy housing. Mm -hmm. Now you see the odd one for rent or for the sale, but they're all to rent now. Landlords are coming up, they've up the prices. You know, it, 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 you can't help it, it's stupid. People need to live, people mm. need to somewhere to live, and landlords are booting them out because they want more money. I feel that this area is kind of neglected. It's Places like that in Liverpool, though, mate, if I'm being honest with you. Uh -huh. Like, you can't even take the kids to park half the time because half the stuff's wrecked. The swings are gone, the wrap round the pole. Mm -hmm. it, it's anywhere, really. I. But the I, government doesn't really invest in this area, then? Um, I don't know. The people that are coming to this country, they're not the people that are setting libraries on fire. Mm -hmm. They're not the people that are causing trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? The immigrants. Yeah. I've got immigrants living on my street. They go to work and buy. The people that are causing trouble in this city are people from this city. It's like that everywhere. Most places don't get invested in. Most places are neglected or mm -hmm. just people don't care about them. They just leave them to rot. Start with the royals. They're loaded. Rob all their money. I agree. Yeah. The Russians had the best idea. Mm -hmm. Get them in 1916, got them in the cellar and shot the bleeding lot of them. Left. We're here on the other side of town, visiting a local refugee center that has become the target of online far-right threats. How do you feel about the calls that have been circulating to torch this center? Just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And so, so, so fallacious. Mm -hmm. Pretending to be Christian, because that is what it's a pretense, because all the actions are totally and utterly contradictory to what we stand for. Migration is a red herring, mm. right? And ever since probably 2008, the Tory party decided to actually have a war on the poor, have a war on immigration. It's not from the local peoples. It's uh, the, all the tragedies have happened, the people who is not from this place. They are from a, they are from particular organization or something like that. Why isn't it Christian to torch the church? Why isn't it Christian to torch the church? Mm -hmm. Because the church is, means those who gather together to remember what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. So we celebrate, we celebrate Mass, we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, we proclaim the word of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what the church is about, so it is one. Is it be Christian to burn the very place where the word of God is proclaimed? So most of the terrorists are, it's not, they are not ter terrorists, so uh, maybe I'm wrong. So they, they are, uh, they are, who are the people in protest, they are... Uh, Burning uh, religious buildings is yeah, a form yeah, of terror, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 kind of, mm. but, but uh, it may be, uh, it may be wrong when I mention them a terrorist. So... I uh, wouldn't blame you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Traveling to England hasn't been free, so uh, please pay uh, two pounds per month. So we can come again. I got well the grounds made, but I have it gewoon nodig. I'm not sure if this was like uh, financially the most sound investment. I'm a student, so I just rent the house. So if they broke my window, it will cost 200 pounds, hmm. surely. So as a, as as doing a part-time job, it's 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 a, it's a two weeks of salary of mine. Would it, would you have to pay for that if someone else picks your window? So, uh, yeah, because I'm renting the house, so I, 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 I'm the in charge for the house. So mm. if anything happens when I, in, when I rent the house, I have to pay for the charges to the landlord or the house. Oh, wow. So if the far right breaks your window, yeah, you yeah. have to pay to your landlord. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I take someone's job, but mm. to be very honest, when I came here, I was like, 
I've invested here like more than 20,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. 25,000 pounds, yeah. So and you have to spend a lot of money to yeah, have a job and, here. And since I came here, October 22, I'm just working. Mm -hmm. All I, I do as a student, I'm working uh, like October 22, continuous, not even a single week. Paying taxes. Taxes and everything. Mm -hmm. We're wealthy because we're stolen, because we've had colonies, because we're stolen um, various, we exploited India, we've exploited Africa. Mm -hmm. As a country, we've exploited, we've stolen. We're living on stolen property belonging to other countries mm. and also stolen labor. Liverpool is a city, many buildings in Liverpool was built on African blood, on slave labor. You know, because in the United States they had the coffin, the, the cotton. Mm -hmm. We sent over the slaves, but then we bought the, co the cotton. At that era, everyone exploited everyone. Well, Britain? No, so exploited more people than yeah, yeah. Uh, other countries. Every kingdom who was powerful exploited, yeah. tried to exploit in their yeah. own way. Yeah. Any king, whatever the power they had, yeah. whatever you know, till the reason. Maybe we should change the foundations of that system so, and yeah, no, acquire the wealth that they no, extracted from all the nations. The most, the most beautiful thing was that the whole earth now become one nation. You know, mm. we share everything together. Mm. No restriction for countries. The working class are the victims because of lack of investment. Mm. The immigration is a victim because of Britain and America's wars overseas, mm. destabilizing these civilizations, and then they, they produce mass migration, and, and then they complain, well, why are all these people coming here? Left. Kapitalisten hebben een eigen media, maar wij hebben elkaar. Al vanaf 1,99 euro per maand kan jij ons blijven helpen voor te bestaan.